Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tony, and I'm a homeschooling mom to four kids. I'm continuing on in the series that I started a couple weeks ago about just how things are going with our curriculum mid-year. So I have already talked about spelling, and I have also talked about reading. So today, I'm talking about everybody's favorite subject, math, math, math. Okay, it's not really my favorite subject, and it's probably not your favorite subject, if you followed my channel for any time at all, you know that my least favorite subject to do, to teach, to talk about is math. I don't like math. It has never come easy to me. So teaching math can be frustrating and I don't necessarily have math minded kids. They're, uh, you know, pretty average to good in math. It can be a battle sometimes, especially if you don't have the right curriculum. So I have talked in videos in the past, this year about what we're using. I've talked about our math that we used last year and how we are not using that. I'm back to Christian Light Education. So if you did not see one of those videos before where I've talked about being back to Christian Light, I am back. And I'm super excited to be back. I'm actually partnering with Christian Light this year, which is really exciting because I'm really enjoying it. And so it's been really cool to be able to partner with them this year. So this video is gonna be all about Christian Light Education's math. And if it's working for us, I'm gonna to be totally honest about the ups and downs of this math curriculum and how it's working for us. So if you wanna find out what's going on, then stay tuned. So I will be honest and tell you that it was not smooth sailing from the beginning with getting back to Christian Light Education. We used it for a couple years and then we took a year off to try something else because one of my daughters was struggling with math and I thought the curriculum was the problem. So I was like, well, let's just switch to something else. And we went and we did Matthew C for a little bit, which was DVD. And I'm like, oh, this will be great. Somebody else is teaching, it's totally fine. It did not work for us. Just because the teacher was teaching the DVD did not mean I didn't have to re-explain stuff. It wasn't sticking. So we're back to Christian Light because first of all, I love, love that it is a spiral approach to math. I, now that I have tried something that is mastery, I totally think that spiral is what works best for us. Obviously people are different. It depends on your child and what sticks with them. Spiral is amazing. If you don't know what the spiral approach is, um, it's like, you know, a spiral notebook where it just keeps coming back and coming back. And so every single day there is review. So they're not learning something once and like doing it for a week and then never doing anything with it again for, you know, a long time. That's not the way this works. They're doing the same thing over and over again, and they're either gonna keep getting it wrong or it's gonna stick. So that is what I love about the spiral approach. Now the problem that we had in the beginning of the year starting this was we had a chunk of time off from Christian Light and my kids had progressed to the next level. So there's a whole book, you know, a whole year that they did not do with Christian Light. And because we had used the mastery, which was like basically one math thing, like one of the kids did division, that's all she did last year. So then of course she forgot a lot of the stuff, like she forgot how many feet are in a yard and, and how to do measurements and weights and um, even, I, I mean they haven't forgotten telling time, but different things like that that you would normally, if I had stuck with Christian Light, we would have been doing every single day. They're having to relearn a lot of the stuff that they forgot, which is fine, but it has been a learning curve. So there, there've been a lot of new things to them that they probably would have covered if we had stuck with it last year. So my definitely my tip is if you start with Christian Light, stick with it, take my advice, learn from my experience, and let me be the one that left and came back and just stay with it. Because seriously, it is a good, solid curriculum. Uh, the learning curve and having to get back in and relearn how to do this is not super fun. So if you don't have to do it, don't do it. So anyway, we had to do it. It's still not the end of the world. It has taken us, it took us a couple months to get into the swing of things. I will say one thing that I learned with my daughter that was struggling with math, it wasn't the curriculum. Some people are just not math minded. Uh, me, I'm not math minded and I just don't think it's really ever gonna come super easily to me or I don't think I will ever find math fun. And that's just me. Well, she might be like that too. It, she's getting it now and she's really understanding the concept, but she has to work a little harder than some of my other kids that math comes a little bit easier to them. Be careful blaming it on the curriculum. Sometimes you do need to try different approaches and you don't know until you try it. But I think this was one of those situations where it wasn't the curriculum. It's just a child that math doesn't come easy to. She's gonna have to work a little bit harder at it. 
and she has been working harder at it. And I will say all of my kids have been doing so amazing the last couple months for sure. They struggled, a couple of them struggled a little bit um, for like a month, maybe two months, I don't know, like October, November. So like they'd gotten a couple months in and then things started to get hard. And of course they're like, I don't like this curriculum. It wasn't the curriculum, it was new things and you have to learn them and practice them. So the thing that made it better and how we got to where we're at now, we're, we're actually doing great in math. All of my girls are doing great in math. We got there because of the spiral approach, because it they they teach something and then you know it just keeps coming back and it's just been ingrained in them and now they're getting it and I it's wonderful if it's so wonderful I would sing if I was a singer ah, but I won't so that is a major major plus it's just the spiral approach I love it and it's I'm, I'm just so glad <laughs> that I came back to it I'm super bummed that I didn't stick with it but we've gotten over the hump and I really feel like this is working for us now so another thing that I really love about Christian Light, what is super working for us, is these reference charts. If you have the chance when you order your curriculum, you get these. They're laminated. For a while they were using them almost every day. Now stuff is sticking to where they don't really have to look it up, but it's so nice to have so many of these things that like this metric chart here, um, one of my daughters has done a ton with this and figuring out about moving decimals and things like that. And this is not, if this is something that's completely new to, new to you, it doesn't come that easily. It's something you need to see every day. It's so nice for her to be able to pull this out and look at it. And now she's actually getting it in her head. And anyway, it's just, these have been awesome. These have been such uh, a huge plus. I mean, this has like everything on it. I think I've showed this before in one of my other uh, math videos, but these are super great. I love them. And they've just been a big help when I'm, they don't have to always ask me, mom, what was this? Or mom, how do you do this? There, a lot of this stuff is on here just to kind of get them started or remind them if they don't forget. So that's been great. I love that there are quizzes and tests. That might not sound fun to the kids, but it just gives you an idea of how we're doing. I mean, there's subjects that we do that we don't do quizzes and tests, and maybe you don't know if it's really sticking, but doing these, uh, there's two quizzes per book, and then there's a test at the end of the book. And I feel like that has been, uh, really good because if we get to quiz one, they didn't do well. It's a good like alert mom. I need help. You know, where if there was just a test at the end and then all of a sudden they bomb it, it's like, Oh, I thought you were getting all this. I love that there's two quizzes in this book before they get to the test. So anyway, that has been really great for mom just to keep track of what they're doing. You know, I grade their daily work, but really seeing if they're getting it without having any cheats or anything, you know, any of not cheats, but you know, any reference charts or anything in the book that has been a huge, huge help. And I think that my final thing that really is making this curriculum just like work for us so, so well, the example is right now. Do you see how many kids are in the room with me? None because this is independent. My son is in the living room playing, waiting for me to work with him in a couple minutes but I needed to film this video. All of my girls are in their own room working on their math. The math is completely independent. Now there are times where maybe something doesn't make sense and they need help with the lesson being explained, but for the most part, they open up their light unit. There is a lesson. They read the lesson. If I help them, all I'm going to do is read the lesson out loud. So if they read the lesson to themselves, there's example problems to make sure they get it. And then there's the review. So none of them even need to be in here with me for math unless they're stuck on something. And that is huge. When you are a mom of multiple kids, that, uh, that is just such a big, big deal for me having four kids. Like normally right now I'd be working with my son, but I was like, I need like 20 minutes to film a video real quick. And I need you guys to go do something independent. They all grabbed their math because they knew they could do that. I love the independence. That is a big thing for mom. You know, if everything depends on me and I've got four kids, I would be a mess. So that has been really big. That is a huge plus is having the independence. They even grade their stuff. If I can't get to it um, and they need to move on and I haven't graded their lesson because there's times where I forget I'm not the most amazing at keeping up on grading, they can grade their own stuff. The teacher's guide is so easy with grading. It's got a picture of the student's page and they just go through and they either got the answer or they didn't. So that is a huge bonus for me grading or even for them grading if I need to have them grade. Some parents choose to just have their kids grade all the time, but I feel like um, I try to do it myself because I wanna see where they're at and make sure they're understanding and make sure everything's going well. Overall, this math has been so good. 
and such a refreshing just consistency. It's it's independent. It is consistent. It's got the spiral approach. So there's lots of review. There's not that new common core like crazy, I don't know, crazy stuff that you have to learn how to do things in a different way. It's just math. It's just math the way math is supposed to be done. And I love that for a non-math minded mom, it's so easy to teach and it's easy for them to kind of teach themselves and for me to help if, even though I'm not good at math, if they're struggling with something, it's easy for me to look in the book and see how they did it and then teach the kid. I'm not like scrambling where I will say when I was doing math, you see, there were a lot of times the stuff was done in a different way than I learned. And I had to go back and watch the DVD. If they didn't get it and they weren't getting it right, and then they asked me for help, I'm like, I don't know how to do this. So I'd have to go sit and watch the DVD to understand how this guy is teaching them how to do this. Then I'd have to try to reteach it. Here's a real life example here. I was filming, someone was at the door, my daughter, I let her come in. She had a question about her math. I read her the little, the new concept, the new lesson read it through with her and sometimes with her being younger she's in third grade just hearing me read it out loud helps her and she got it and now she's back in her room working on it by herself so even just the times that i have to help them it is so easy to just read it through explain it if i need to, i don't even really have to do extra explaining but read through the lesson which i she was in here for maybe a minute and a half and that was it and then we did the first problem together she got it she left so it's awesome. This has been a great addition to our homeschool this year. I'm so glad to be back with Christian Light and uh, I hope it continues to work for us for years. Curriculum is something you have to reassess every year because your kids change and things that they struggle with change and stuff like that. But really, I feel like this could kind of work across the board. It is working really well with all three of my girls and I am I at least know with my son, once he starts with math, we're sticking with it. I'm not bouncing around for math. Math is that one thing that you really don't want to try a bunch of different curriculums because you just need that one thing for them to learn and for it to just stick. And so anyway, I will give you one negative. If I were to interview my kids and ask them right now, what's some, what do you like or not like about Christian light? I would say all the things that I, that I mentioned before they would like. They would say they like. They like that they can do it on their own. They like that um, the lessons explain it. They like that it's the the spiral approach and keeps explaining it. You know, reviewing stuff and things like that. I would say they would say that. The negative they would say is sometimes they feel like they're long lessons. So because of the review, compared to Matthew C, where it was like a front and back page and that was it. It didn't stick for us but it was a front and back page that was it they loved how short the lessons were but i'm telling you they were not super math minded by the end of the year it was not a good fit for us this one yes sometimes there's four pages of work to do and they don't love that but it is the review that i think is important so i will warn you with that your kids might think the lessons are long i have heard that some moms will mark off like every other problem or if they feel like they got something they'll cross it off I struggle with that a little bit. I'm kind of like everything needs done. There have been times where I really knew they got it and I would cross off every other problem. I don't do that very much. You could, you might be one of those moms that is fine with that, but that is not, uh, I'm not super comfortable with that. I don't know why. I just like everything to be done if it can be done, at least for math. So anyway, that is one negative that they would say they're longer lessons or, you know, four pages, but it's good stuff and there's and it's sticking so it may not be super fun it might not be as fun as playing in the snow but you know you got to do math everybody has to learn math i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up that is a big help for me to know to keep these videos coming i will be continuing on this series we have some other subjects that i will be sharing uh, you know, every couple weeks or so, I'm gonna be sharing how things are going with all the rest of our subjects. And if we're liking things, if it's not sticking, I will let you guys know. So I hope this has been a helpful thing for you as you look towards next year, or if you even need to be switching right now. Some of the things that we are using that I have loved, especially this math, I would encourage you to look into if you are looking for something to fit for your family right now. So thanks so much for watching. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do that, especially if you want to keep following along on this series about our homeschool curriculum and how it's been working for us. So make sure you click that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you're notified every time one of my videos comes out. We're always talking about thrifty stuff and mom life 
I switch it up, I make it fun. We try to have fun around here. So if you guys like that, make sure you subscribe so you can stick around and be a part of the Our Thrifty Homeschool family. I hope you guys can do that. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. See, we got through a math video. Nobody cried. This was great.